Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play OpenXCOM Final Mod Pack. In the last episode we have finally used the Blaster Multi-Launchers. We had a lot of fun with that and uh, the Chinese crew showed everyone else that uh, they are not uh, the secondary team. They are just as good as anyone else. And the teams in Brazil and uh, Down Under still have to prove their worthiness to us as well. So uh, let's give them the opportunity in the coming episodes. A small scout was fight alien infiltration in Europe. Come on, that mission has already ended. They signed the pact and the base number one was created right here. You shouldn't exist. <laughs> you shouldn't exist. Yeah, I have no idea how that happened, but um, maybe something's wrong. Anyway, let's put them down. And we have medium scout making alien base. Okay, do that. Um, sentry ship alien base. Excavator alien base. Okay, I think they are. I think they are going to create a base now. Yeah, another excavator. A supply ship. Another excavator. Wait, how many excavators do we have? Supply. Sentry. Excavator. Scout. Excavator. Two excavators. Two supply ships as well. Heavy railgun has been finished. Okay. And we have a battleship as well. All closing in. <laughs> so. How many do you want to shoot down? Thunderstorm. What do you say? Let's put down one of the excavators. Yeah, that's the... We haven't seen many of those in this LP. Maybe we should go after one of them. We'll wait until they land, though. And we'll see how many the, exca uh, the thunderstorm can shoot down. Just because it's fun. This is a sentry ship. Sure. Shoot them down, too. You can't stop uh, them from building the base, but... Uh, at least we can uh, shoot them down and uh, the native wildlife uh, will take care of them in Amazon jungle. Who are you, supply ship? I wonder, can supply ship return fire? No, they can't. So, um... This will most probably <laughs> generate another retaliation for us, but uh, I don't care too much. I enjoy shooting them down. Right now, Thunderstorm needs some praxis. Another supply ship? No. Okay. We haven't seen so many interceptions for a long time, haven't we? Have we? Uh, this is an excavator. Maybe I want to go after that one. Battleship. <laughs> um, yeah, we won't go after the battleship, right? Because we have seen what they can do. Even um, a few episodes ago, when it was, I think, Waspites and Cybermites, and we had a squad full of uh, psionic soldiers, they were not that easy, and it took... Uh, Almost a full hour to finish the mission. I'm not sure if it was with or without casualties. I don't want to try anyway, anymore. So, we have a very large battleship and we have an excavator. I will um, equip Brazilian Sky Marshal. Two doggies. No machine guns, rocket launchers, fine, no flamethrower, laser rifles you can keep, rail rifles you can keep, no proxies. Um, two Siams, okay. Do we have two psionic guys on the team? I'm not sure. We don't need this. Actually, you can keep the small launcher. We still have a few specimen like, uh, like chrysalids, for example, which we haven't 
retrieve the add stun grenades, alien grenades, mine probes, nuclear laser rifles, and we want... Oh, mech flight, welcome back, we need you. And um, looking back at the psionic training we have... Yeah, the man with the gun, but I think Gru has a has more skill. So let's take Gru with us. Okay, armor-wise. Gru, you need something better. Captain Jay's tank. You'll take the Stormtrooper armor and Gru will get the flying one. Yes. Just so that you don't die that easily. Excellent. Um, I will equip you later. And let's wait until they land, really. Come on. Heavy railgun is finished. Let's do some maintenance. Do we have anything to... To maintain? Probably not. Let's do some basic components. We now have cyber, cyber mite disassembly. And we have 13 cyber mites. Let's disassemble 10 of those. Keep the three in case we can, um, we can do something else with them. Uh, somebody has landed. Who was it? A very large one. No, I'm not doing it, guys. Sorry. And um, it's gonna be night soon. Just follow them. They must land, right? Excavator mixed. It will be in the jungle. Which sucks really hard, but... Come on, land. No, no. Oh, seriously? Look at that. They don't even bother. I think we'll have a night mission, really. Grav shield repels alien craft attempting to land near the base and so on and so forth. Uh, main thing is we can do the ultimate craft, which we will right now. And um, this doesn't look good. You are large scout sector, it's okay. So, do we want to do a night mission, or do we just go after after another one? Excavator here. Mm, I don't really want to do a night mission. Let's just shoot them down. I was hoping to see an undamaged one. I think we had a mission with excavators already, but I really don't remember exactly, so I do want to show you at least one more, if necessary. We had missions with large scouts, a lot of them actually. So, Cybermite disassembly is finished, and that means we can probably do more basic components, sectopod disassembly. Yeah, let's do, let's do more of the sectopods because they are really cool so let's do one plasma guy as well a lot of illyrium one oh yeah we have now relatively a good number of electronics so let's do one uh, plasma sectopod and then we'll do one more laser and that should uh, that should be nice so this with uh, this is an excavator and this wouldn't be a jungle sky marshal Go after them, and uh, let's hope we'll have a nice uh, mission. Entropy. Uh, what do I want to do? First of all, I want to give my people like Gru and the Akancho these weapons. Then Mech Flight deserves a um, grenade over here and there. This like that. Can you carry also this? No, not anymore. Okay, so you're fine, as far as I'm concerned. Random. You're carrying a lot of junk. Uh, but that's fine. The country is okay, Gruar is also okay. 
The man with the gun. I don't think we will need that many. Take uh, a more precise weapon. And maybe you can take that one. Just in case. Plus a grenade. Okay, Hellraiser. Um, you can take that instead of the other guy. And that. Sandro. You're fine. Michael. Uh, no. That's fine. Neo. No, you're fine. Oh, Timur. You need a gun. You are... Uh, is this so heavy? No, but maybe the... The ammo is quite heavy. You don't need that. You don't need that. Probably take like three ammo and one sniper rifle. Yeah, sure. Alexis, fine. Fish food, fine. Preacher, put that away and take a sniper rifle as well. Don't need that. Entropy, one more stun grenade. Let's begin. It's definitely not jungle. Okay, this is the edge. This is the edge. Mech flight for a change. You can safely come out. <laughs> and um, doggies will scout instead of you. Okay, there's the UFO already. Okay. So it's uh, at the very least, it's uh, the Cyclops. What are they called? Gazers. And there's mutons as well, as we can see. What else is in this uh, funky group? Can't see there yet. There's more mutons. These guys are not vulnerable, as you can see, to plasma. So they can shoot as many times as they wish. So it's the black mutons. It's the... Oh, by the way, these guys are on the roof. That must be Hellraiser's doing. Always blame Hellraiser. <laughs> okay. Um, so it looks like there's no absolute immediate danger. And this guy has only a puny weapon. So um, random. You might want to send a greeting card his way. Uh, maybe it's not that puny after all. You were hurt. You were hurt. Gru, do you have a... No. They can't show. You also don't have a medkit. Well, that is suboptimal. Um, I will have to have a look. It is just a plasma stupid pistol. Mutant engineer. Looks like a, a robot from the day Earth stood still. <laughs> Movie. Uh, put that down, Mr. Muton. You don't need it, really. Uh, we we, we don't, want, don't want to hurt you. I mean, some of us. And um, random, you need to step outside and uh, get some medical attention. Heal. Okay. Almost, almost fine, random, don't worry. Good. Uh, scouting ahead. And running over here. We find out more of these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! How did that happen? How did that happen? It's really not a good, uh, not a good mission here. I'm exposed from all sides. I think this will be another mind controlling uh, episode. Whoa, look at that. Normal mutant. So, um, 
There's mutons, there's geysers. <laughs> have you seen? Have you seen that? They have been. Uh... Whoa. Okay, so that was a laser weapon. They are definitely more susceptible to lasers than to anything else. Um, yeah, so mutons and, and gazers. And more mutons. Okay, so it looks like that's all that uh, waits on us in this uh, in this mission. Hmm. I was uh, I thought that might maybe there would be like uh, in the rule set I've seen there's like five or six different races which could be on this craft. I, I'm not sure how they are taken from that uh, pool, but uh, this time it looks like there's only green and black mutons and some gazers. Not that it's not enough, I mean, without psionic powers that would be pretty overwhelming, but um, for now it's pretty easy. Good, so how shall we do this? I think um, we don't have a, a sectopod tank with us, so we have to scout with uh, doggies and... Um, we have one, two, three, four there, two up there, one down. We need to come out of the craft. Hellraiser will come here. You can't? Oh yeah, you can't. Okay, come here. There. There. And come out. Okay, face this way. Uh, you can come here. Excellent. So now we have some uh, maneuvering space. This was an engineer. Let's take him alive. Or let's not. Reload. Uh, Michael. Can you end his miserable life? Thank you very much and run away. That will do. Nobody there. Excellent. Sandro. Run where the muton was and give me a snapshot over there. Didn't work. Timur. 38. Is that enough? Yes, it is. We need to shoot the gazers too. Looks like the sniper rifle is really effective. That's good to know. What about you, Entropy? Mm, that was not impressive. And you are pretty much exposed there. I think we'll... Uh, we'll need some smoke, really. Who has some smoke? Alexis. Prime that and throw it to him. And Preacher will put down that weapon. I run over here and throw this between them and us. Go there. Alexis, you've already done what needed to be done. That's a good spot for you, fish food, right there. And Neo, you have a flying thingy. You need to go. You need to go. Actually, you can go like here. That's good enough. Hellraiser. Guru. Cancho. Yeah, that's everyone. Even the doggy can come closer. What do you see? What could you possibly see from here? 
Do you see through that window? Or do you see through the lift? I mean, center of the screen is somewhere here, and here. so center of the screen is there. I don't see anyone there. It might be also over here. Yeah, you must see this guy, but how you see him is a mystery to me. Go back. And uh, that's it. Let's hope nobody dies. Except for the dog. I don't know what that was, but there's definitely a hole in this UFO somewhere. There's definitely a hole. There's no way they could have... Well, let's not think about that for a moment. And concentrate at the problem at hand. Very nice. I would like to do better. Neo, right? Uh, maybe not, but you can go a few steps upwards and maybe scout a little bit. I'm really afraid now because of the UFO transparency or supposed transparency. There should be another guy here. Timur. That was really bad. Hellraiser. Try this maybe. That was enough. Thank you. Sandro, come closer. And of course we need to scout the other way as well. Seems safe for now. Man with a gun. Looks okay. Gru, nobody to mind control, but come closer. Alexis, right here. And the Akancho also a little bit closer. Preacher, Preacher the Breacher <laughs> will breach the craft. Uh, and Entropy will definitely go and help him. I can't see anyone. Not yet, that is. Not yet. I'm not sure why I'm sending rookies in there, but... Uh, they need to get their experience somehow. Good McFlight. You need your experience too. And you're a rookie as well. You're going in. Uh, doggy, a little bit further, nobody there. Fish food. Alexis, stay there. Maybe go a little bit back. Timur Neo, really no one? There was to, supposed to be a, a mute on there. Okay. Fingers crossed. Nobody died. Um, almost. Almost. So, aim shot. Very nice. The mutons don't uh, respond well to lasers, unlike gazers. Maybe they would like some... Uh, Rail weapons better? Excellent. Good, good, good. So, as a training mission, this doesn't uh, look that bad. I think we can deal with uh, gazers and mutons uh, pretty easily. Can you shoot? Yeah. 
Yes, you can. Okay. Mr. Preacher. We still need to find more. Oh, there's one. There's one. Uh, Gru. More training for you. Oh, <laughs> that even rhymes. Isn't that sweet? No reaction fire? Okay, I was almost disappointed. Um, then uh, over here maybe. Yeah, we need, we need uh, that guy. To kill that guy, I mean. So let's take uh, this weapon. Run over there and empty a full magazine. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Who has a... I know it's just an alien uh, laser rifle, but uh, it's supposed to be effective against these guys. Yeah, it uh, barely scratched him. Hmm. Barely scratched him. Well, if I take this one alive, the mission will end. Um, do I want to do that? Can I do that? Yes, I can. So let's end it. Okay, that was a nice mission. Just one doggy perished. We have seen a new type of craft or almost new and we know that we can deal with uh, these guys so we'll be dealing with um, mutons and silicoids and celatids uh, we'll be doing uh, dealing with holdrones and gazers but something tells me the alien base which we haven't found yet by the way um, will have more surprises for us yeah there it is there it is alien base number two yeah i think we are going there in the next episode you are you are ready right you're as ready as you'll ever be uh, but i think we'll take uh, We'll take one laser sectopod with us. Yes. So de equip. And where is it, by the way? Is it in China? I think it might be in China. Yeah, it is indeed in China. So de equip the Chinese one and uh, transfer it to Brazil. Because these guys will need it more now. Let's uh, put down the two doggies and we'll need also to put um, two people or just one actually away. The man with the gun will not come with us and we'll have, we do have enough space. Okay. So, um, oh, hello. Fresh meat. Uh, who has died? Bjorn and Kjotlake. Were you in uh, this base? I think you were. So, welcome back, Mr. Bjorn. Kor van der Heuvel. Hmm, cool. Bjorn, I think this is your second incarnation. Your stats are really not that impressive. Since suit for you. Sonic uh, strength is pretty cool. Okay, though. Yeah, Bjorn and Kjotlik were both uh, first-time soldiers. Uh, and sin suit for Mr. Kjotlik as well. Welcome back. Time units and stamina. Excellent. Bravery over the roof. Average reactions and firing accuracy. Can we give you a Stormtrooper armor? No, we can't. Uh, everything else is pretty good. This soldier is certainly better than the last one, I would say. Certainly. And since we have some space, uh, let's put you on board. Both of you. Excellent. And some uh, 
doggies maybe. No, we have just enough for the plasma hover tank. Let's take that. Anyway, I'm doing too much of stuff which I should do off camera. So before I forget, uh, let's check if everything's going according to... Pl yeah, that uh, plasma sectopod will be finished and we wanted to do one more laser uh, sectopod because that turned out to be awesome. So let's do that and end the episode here, okay? Next, uh, next episode we are going after alien base number two. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So let's save. This was part 107. It's the end of it. And part 108 might be one of the harder ones. We'll see. For now, I say bye bye. Till next time.